You are listening to Charting Crypto for July 20, 2022. Well, this week is looking a little bit brighter for cryptocurrencies. Now, we've seen this before after we saw the big crash. We had a couple of weeks where things looked up a little, then they were down, then they were sideways, and they popped up and then rolled over, crashed through the 200 EMA on the weekly chart, and this is the first time since then, since the big rollover that started sort of when it all ended in early April, this is the first time that we've seen a green up candle forming. And that is good, although right now as I look at the 24-hour Bitcoin chart, it's down 0.06% for the day. But again, nice week so far. Now we're still below the 200 EMA on the weekly chart. And of course, if we look at the half day, we can see where it's just been running along, running along, running along the 200 EMA. It is above it right now. And again, when we look at movement, of course, we can see where it moved above and did cross over nicely, down a little bit, up a little, down a little, up. So again, it's sort of moving down here at this point on the half day chart. Uh, that's nice to see now. I don't trade that chart. You guys know that I prefer not to keep my money in crypto exchanges. Those of you who do that, great. I hope your crypto exchange hasn't gone bankrupt. But again, you have options such as the VanEck ETF. This is a Bitcoin future approved by the SEC, traded on the markets here in the States. This is in your regular markets. And of course, it's still below its 200 EMA, not looking to jump in yet. But I would encourage you, you've got these charts, why not go ahead and practice. Look for opportunities to jump in to practice trades on Bitcoin, whatever charts you think you will end up trading on. Same with something like Ethereum. And again, where's Ethereum on the weekly? Bring that in a little bit so we can see it a little better. You can see that again, it's moving over, touching the 200 EMA on that weekly chart, still in the red down here. But again, nice to see it in the green after April when it started the big pound down. Green spinning top last week, up some this week. And again, as we look at other things here, it are Bitwise, the top 10 crypto index fund based upon what? the market cap that these various cryptocurrencies. So what's the big kahuna? Well, of course, it's Bitcoin followed way down by Ethereum and then all the others. But again, you can see the cryptocurrencies rallying a little bit this week. Check it out. Going into the green. That's a sideways slipping green. It's not chunking up here. But again, what did that do for you last time? Not a lot as things were sliding sideways and rolling over. Even when you had this last time, it went up for two weeks and then hammered down. So I'm not putting a lot into that right now. When you have markets that are hammering down, hammering down, hammering down, it's hard to find anything to get super excited about. But we will keep an eye on this. I just like to look at uh, this chart on occasion just to sort of see what's up overall with a weighted fund that shows us what's happening with all the cryptocurrencies. Just sort of gives you a sky high view of what is happening. So overall, what are we seeing? Are we seeing a return to normalcy when it comes to cryptocurrencies? No, not yet. I mean, it's nice to see things are starting to move up a little bit, not just red. Maybe things have bottomed out, but what we've seen in the past from where these things have moved, I'm not putting a whole lot into it just yet. And again, we've also had this STC not do so well for us with all of this down move. So we'll continue to watch, wait and see. Of course, I want to feel good about things and I want on my short chart to at least get above the 200 EMA. Then when we see some real trending, we can count on the STC a little more to give us some signals that will work. Now, I will also use the method we have using the ATR to help us determine how much the volatility is 
and to thereby reduce the size of our X trade. That's our standard trade. If your standard trade, of course, is $100,000 and you've got 5% that you know is the potential risk from your average true range, that's what you set up and you notice that number results in a 5% risk, then of course, how much would you want to reduce your $100,000 X trade by? Well, you would divide five into $100,000. You would reduce it significantly, would you not? Down to just a mere $20,000. Now we explain that better in all those trainings that we've recently done. I'll attach several of them at the end of today's video so you can go take them and understand how to use the average true range to help you deal with not only setting your profit and loss bands, but also helping you account for the volatility, particularly the kind that you'll see in things like cryptocurrencies. All you do to deal with the volatility is reduce the size of your X trade. You need to practice that, learn it, figure out how to do it, and then what you are doing is you're significantly reducing your risk so that you're able to still look at jumping into those trades but not having your backside taken with the kind of raging changes. But again, you got to have a chart first and foremost that's chartable that you practiced with, that you have the ability to count on more than just, hey, let's throw some money at something. You might as well go to Vegas. But again, Vegas won't let you play with fake chips. Here, you can. You don't. You should not be out there throwing money around when you're learning to trade something such as a commodity, something such as a stock, an ETF, Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency, whatever it might be. Learn by doing, by practice trading. That's where we are, folks. Always appreciate you being with us. We love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. God bless. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.